Long considered one of the earliest diseases afflicting humankind, leprosy made its first documented appearance in 1550 BC Egypt, as revealed in the Hebert's Papyrus. Throughout the coming centuries, leprosy became one of the most dreaded diseases in human society, primarily because of its disfiguring, incurable nature. Leprosy was widely believed to be an isolated Middle Eastern disease until the Romans invaded Egypt several hundred years before the birth of Christ. While Phoenician sailors may well have spread the disease into the Mediterranean, Roman soldiers transported the disease into Italy and Europe at large. While Roman invaders most certainly brought the first wave of leprosy into Europe, medieval crusaders returned from the Middle East with enough of the deadly pathogen to fuel a string of brutal epidemics. It is estimated that in the 12th and 13th centuries, leprosy afflicted upwards of one-fourth of Europe's northernmost populations. Following the rise of Christianity, leprosy became synonymous with sinful lust, reflecting an errant belief by the Catholic Church that the disease was spread by sexual promiscuity. Accordingly, lepers were forced to wear black hoods and announce themselves with tragic cries of unclean. In some cities, lepers rang a bell to announce their presence and walked on a particular side of the street, depending on wind direction. Civil leaders declared lepers legally dead so that they could confiscate the lepers' belongings and wealth, although church leaders maintained that the leper's spouse would honor the sacramental bond of marriage and serve the leper until one or the other passed on. Segregation became the final solution for leprosy in most European societies, forcing the creation of leper colonies or leprosariums. It is estimated that by 1226 AD there were 2,000 leprosariums in France and a stunning 19,000 throughout the European continent. In 1921, the United States Public Health Service established the nation's first leprosarium and leprosy research center located in Carville, Louisiana. In the 1940s, the sulfone drug Proman was originally identified at Carville, which became the first successful treatment option for leprosy. Proman treatment, however, required multiples of painful injections. In the 1950s, while working at Carville, Dr. R.G. Cochrane pioneered the development of Dapsone, which became the treatment drug of choice until Mycobacterium leprae developed a resistance to the drug. Finally, in the 1970s, the first successful multi-drug treatment regimen for leprosy was developed through drug trials on the island of Malta. Combining a drug cocktail of Depsone, Rifampicin, and Clofazamine, MDT remains the best treatment regimen for preventing nerve damage, deformity, and leprosy transmission. Today, the World Health Organization reports an approximate 250,000 cases of leprosy annually primarily in the poorest nations of Asia and Sub-Saharan Africa.